Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest. Last time we got we finished up San Ilya by going to the library and collecting the four spirits and where to find them. But before we start our spirit collecting journey, we have a couple side missions to take care of. And frankly, this section of the game right here is the part of the game that I find the most boring. Because the side quest of uh, Port Natalia and the Haunted Mansion are basically setting up things in the future, but what's set up at Port Natalia is really minor at best and could easily have been dealt with when getting the North Sea Gym. And the Haunted Mansion has a better setup uh, later on than what this one provides. But regardless, we need to get through them if we want the good ending. So, away we go. Back to Port Natalia. Alright, let's head to Port Natalia. I want to meet the person who's looking for someone without a bias against monsters. You're such an idiot. Have you forgotten the purpose of your journey? My only purpose wasn't to head right to the Monster Lord's castle. I want humans and monsters to get along. Plus I need EXP, Alice. Get off my back. Why do you keep wanting me to rush straight to fight you? You know for a fact that I would have no chance against you as I am right now. Even if I had all four spirits right now, I probably wouldn't have a chance against you. Anyway. Alright, let's go! Together with the disgusting looking Alice, I head off to Port Natalia. And finally, we arrived at Port Natalia. The return journey was a lot easier. Hmm. These gentleman Thai crackers are delicious. Alice is excitedly eating the crackers as I bought earlier. Her expression doesn't say so. I don't fear regularly. She gets annoying. Now let's find that house mentioned on the nose board. Anything new these people say? Ah, yes they do. Since then, Ilias Cruz hasn't committed any more acts of terrorism. Isn't that great, honey? But it was scary! I don't want my darling to get hurt because of me! If it's for you, I don't mind getting hurt, honey. Even if I have to give my life, I'll protect you. Ah, uh, darling! You make me the happiest mermaid in the world! Ah, uh, honey. You're the best treasure in the world. <laughs> Get a roomie, too. I'm sure they have one. Man. The person who bombed the mermaid school the other day? I heard he's the head of Ilias Cruz. Apparently he ran away to the north. Woman. Even though nothing's happened since then, I wonder when something will. As long as the town has mermaids, I don't think it will stop. Of course, the people who are attacking the mermaids are the bad guys. Soldier. I heard the other day uh, the Monster Lord herself attacked San Ilya. It seems like the only damage she did was a fire in the library. What, they didn't mention the fact that the goddess sword was broken and that the king is in hysterics? <laughs> it truly really must have been Ilias' protection that prevented any of her damages. Uh, he didn't get the full report. <laughs> They're trying to keep a lid on it that the king is uh, kind of lost his mind there for a bit. 
right. today. Even after such a horrible attack like that, the people of this town still warmly accept us. That's why we really don't want to involve them. Maybe. Us mermaids are just uh, bringing trouble for everyone else in this town. Recently we've taken the setting up patrols to help guard the town. We're fine patrolling since our lower bodies are very strong. Even 200 meters under the water, we can still swim at 15 knots. We can shower a normal human's bones with one swipe of our tail. I'm kidding! We're actually incredibly weak. No, no, not really. When the mermaids invade later in the game, they're actually pretty strong. Mermaid girl. My mermaid song! Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Song of seduction. A man passing by has been seduced by a mermaid song. Oh no! <laughs> m m m master m m m Master! <laughs> Help! My crazy old man is attacking a little mermaid girl! An Aurelius cruise attack? Get him! Go! <laughs> Congratulations, little mermaid. You got a man arrested, and he will now have a per be on a list permanently. He won't be able to go any near any schools anymore. Uh, I wasn't supposed to sing that song. I'm sorry, mister. Unfortunately, even if she explains what really happened, he's likely still on a list. That may be a sense there is actual magic in this world, it, it, it is possible. Of course they might not have it listed at all considering what the time uh, this takes place in. Mermaid Merchant. I have a new product! Grilled sea anemone! But it isn't selling well either. I see she's still got the same hustle going on. Why do you keep grilling stra such strange things? It's fine, just buy it! I want to get out of these ragged clothes. <laughs> Sucker! Ah, Luca, Luca, Luca. Welcome! In these dark times of disaster and terrorism, you want to get yourself some good equipment! Is that kind of stuff really selling? These fireproof clothes are getting really popular! Everyone is uneasy about the terrorist attacks. Alright, tool shop. Welcome! We carry clothes for mermaids at this shop. Clothes that expose almost all the ch stereo are the most popular these days. Really? I'm kidding! For now. But if our shop advertises it as the new fashion trend, that's what the trend will become! Making lives become truth. Isn't the fashion world wonderful? So you want to make such low-cut clothes popular? I'm just trying to serve the needs of the men of the world better. <laughs> Alice! This isn't what you think! I'm just advertising the newest fashion craze! Pervert. <laughs> You're not wrong. Church. It's possible that Ilias Cruz is actually carrying out Ilias' will. They basically are. It's heresy for mermaids and humans to live together in this town as they are. Alright, Mermaid Pub. Oh! Welcome, you cute hero. 
What are you going to order? Uh, I won't drink alcohol. And you want to hear the story of how the mermaids came to this town? It's a really sad story from a hundred years ago. Between a young human and a mermaid. A long time ago, there was a young sailor named Alan in this town. One day, his ship wrecked while on a voyage. He was attacked by a shark and was mortally wounded. Suddenly, a beautiful mermaid named Laura appeared and saved him. It was love at first sight for Laura. Alan's injury was so severe that normally it would kill a human. There's a puncture wound through his left chest that went half an inch into his lung, leaving him in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. His spine was also injured in the shark attack, and he had lost a third of his blood. Uh, that's... unusually detailed. Anyway, normally someone wouldn't survive that. They already say he was half dead. So Laura made Alan drink her blood. You may not know, but the blood of a mermaid is a powerful medicine. Drinking her blood, Alan was somehow able to recover. But even with her blood, he wasn't able to be completely fine. For a full year, he had to drink her blood every day, or else he would die. So Laura pretended to be a human, and followed Alan to the town. She secretly mixed her blood in with his food to keep him alive. Why did Laura have to disguise herself? The town hated monsters. So Laura had no choice but to pretend to be a human. Months passed like that, as she continued to take care of Alan. Laura and Alan fell completely in love. One day, it was discovered that Laura was not human. Alan's love didn't change, but the other townsfolk were different. People were terrified of her, and accused her of being the source of all the bad things happening in town. Finally, Soldiers caught her and decided to execute her. But couldn't she have escaped? As a mermaid, she would have been stronger than any guard. If Laura ran, then Alan wouldn't be able to drink her blood. That's why Laura didn't run. Laura decided she would turn herself in and choose to be executed by skewering. Choosing the bloodiest possible method, she wanted Alan to be able to collect all of her blood. No, how awful. Alan figured out what Laura was planning on doing by the letter she sent him. He decided to kill himself by drinking poison. If he died, Laura wouldn't be forced to stay by his side to give him her blood. He couldn't bear the thought of Laura being executed for his sake. Laura fled from the execution ground after hearing of Alan's death. In the next few days, a storm blew through the town, as if summoned by Laura's grief. Well, she does end up becoming the Queen Mermaid, so it's not impossible for her to have that kind of power. The people of the town regret their actions. They decide to repent and came to accept mermaids. Yeah, well, what was the first mermaid to ever try that one again? <laughs> the end. That's a sad story. Mermaids are known for their sad stories. If you know anything about how the Little Mermaid tale originally goes, it's a sad story. It's a legend, so I don't know how true it really is. That's been handed down through the years in this town. It's 100% correct! <laughs> the mermaid who got away becomes the queen mermaid. Alright. 
On to Maya's house. Sixth Street, three twenty-nine. Is this it? I walk up to the house that matched the address on the notice board. This should be where Maya lives. Knock, knock. Is anyone there? I'm coming! A woman's voice calls out excitedly. Suddenly, a mermaid I had seen before in the town appeared. <laughs> Are you Maya? Yes, I'm Maya. I'm sorry about cutting our conversation short last time. Due to the explosion, I completely forgot about our conversation. Uh, oh no, don't be sorry. Alice and I went inside her house. Please excuse the small house. I don't have much to entertain you with either. Oh, don't worry about it. We're fine. She set down some suspicious looking aqua based cakes and tea on the table. Suspicious looking? I'm sure they're fine. We're somewhat busy. Your request better not be stupid. Uh, can you be quiet for a moment? Here, if you keep nibbling the seaweed, it'll probably taste good after a while. Yeah, seaweed's actually surprisingly salty. It's not bad. Just takes some getting used to. Seaweed. Alice gives an odd look to the seaweed before finally taking a bite. While she's eating, I better ask her about her request. So, what's the request you need assistance with? Actually, I'm in love with a human! Maya holds her cheeks as she blushes. No way. You want me to play matchmaker or something? I'm not very good at that. Yeah, no, you would be terrible at that, gay how dense you are. Oh no, we're already in a relationship. We've lived together in this house for a while. But right now he's out at sea fishing. That's great! This is the world I want to create. I have monster living together peacefully. Uh, breaking that uh, taboo you're still so fond of. But, although we love each other deeply, we're not married. It's because we can't perform the marriage trial d d dictated by marine law. Marriage trial? When a mermaid and a human get married, they have to offer a written pledge to the queen at the temple on the seabed. But the monsters along the way to the temple are too dangerous. I have some magic power, but my darling isn't too strong. Yeah, that's actually kind of the point of the whole thing. It's a, a trial to make sure that a human in love with a monster is strong enough to survive the ordeal. <laughs> we won't be able to make it there safely. In other words, you want me to go to the temple at the bottom of the sea and deliver this pledge? Yes! I'm sorry for the troublesome request. Could you please deliver the pledge to her in our stead? Is someone else even allowed to deliver it in your place? Seems like a strange trial if the two people getting married don't even need to do it. The law doesn't specifically say those getting married have to deliver it. It doesn't say someone else can either, but it should be fine. Er, uh, that doesn't seem quite right. Hey, that's how a lot of uh, laws are interpreted. If it doesn't specifically say you can't do it, generally the interpretation is you can.
If the people themselves don't undergo the trial, what's the point? It doesn't have to make sense, it just has to not be illegal. It's called a loophole. While thinking that, someone opens the front door. I'm home! Ah, uh, welcome home! A small boy walks into the house. Huh? No way! You've already had kid together? <laughs> yeah, remember what Alice said about uh, monsters very rarely having a uh, normal human man? Should jump to conclusions like that, Luca. Oh no, no! This is my darling. Every <laughs> eye open up. Eh? Isn't he a bit young? Hey, Maya, who are these people? They're very admirable adventurers. I also deliver our pledge of marriage to the Queen. Oh, really? Thank you! We really want to get married, but that would help so that would help us a lot. Um may uh don't you think it would be better to wait for him to grow up a little more? Being married to such a young boy? But my darling is turning 25 this year! Eh? That has to be a lie, right? No matter how I look at him, he's younger than I am! I'm an adult! I can't get married! I can't, I can't, I can! Ah, man, he's being mean to me! <laughs> I used a little of my mermaid magic to stop his growth. <laughs> yeah. Why did you do that? Because he's so cute like this. Yeah. Even though... If we assume she's uh, that she's not lying, that he is in fact 25, it doesn't change the fact that she's a total pedo. Because she is attracted to little children. And we find out in Paradox that applies to both boys and girls. So yeah, if anyone uh, needs to be kept away from schools, it's this lady right here. You know, this reminds me of, uh, what was it, uh, Bludgeoning to Death, Angel, uh, Dekoro-chan, uh, where that, uh, that entire premise is that, uh, the main male character in the future ends up, uh, inventing a machine that, uh, prevents all women in the world from aging, uh, to, uh, past the age of ten. So all the men are going around normal age where all the women, regardless of their actual age, are stuck as little girls. <laughs> and the angels sit back in time specifically to kill him over that. <laughs> uh, it's a strange but hilarious series. And very bloody. Very, very bloody. She kills him with a spiked club. But because she likes him, she keeps reviving him. I, I feel very sorry for the guy. Also, the series has a has an angel that is like six, but looks like she's twenty-two. You're in the opposite of the Lollibaba route. <laughs> very strange series. Anyway, enough of that tangent. So that's why! I thought it was strange! Man, that's so awful! All the guys at work make fun of me! <laughs> <laughs> I 
The boy starts to pout while Mia laughs. Well, what should I do here? That's how it is, so please help us! Please go to the Queen at the bottom of the sea and deliver our pledge! Please! Pretty, pretty, please! Pretty, please, with sugar and sprinkles on top! <laughs> Alright! Take the request. Thank you so much! Thank you, big bro! I'll let you play with some of my toys when you get back! The two of them hug each other happily. Alice, still chewing on the seaweed, glares at me. Doing more troublesome things. She's beaming that face at me. Hey, the entire hero's adventure is a troublesome thing. It's only something small, but I can give you a reward. It may not be enough for you, though. Oh no! You don't need to give me a reward. Humans and monsters coexisting together is my goal, after all. If I can help their love grow, that's its own reward. And please take this. This is our pledge, and a ball of guidance. And he hands me a document with writing on it. And a transparent crystal. Ball guidance acquired. Rim pledge acquired. Which, by the way, if you don't get the Ball of Guidance now, uh, it, it, later when you actually need it, you have to come back and do this quest then. Ball of Guidance? What's this? I look at the crystal, crystal and puzzle it. While standing on the nearby beach, you need to use that. Then you should be able to go to the undersea road. I see... So if I follow that road, it'll take me to the temple? Yes! I'll pray for your safe journey. Who are you praying to? Ilias hates monsters. And the Dark God is sealed. Good luck, bro! Leave it to me! Saying that, we leave Mia's house. You sure do like to be used by others. That's the whole hero shtick. There's no point doing uh, such a personal request as that. Uh, uh, RPGs all over beg to differ. A lot of times heroes seem more like delivery boys than the actual problem solvers. Don't say that, Alice. Isn't it great to break down racial barriers in the name of love? But that guy will break Ilias' law, won't he? He already is. I'm sure of it. I'm sure the moment we left, they started getting at it. <laughs> Since you believe in her laws, isn't that bad? Ugh, that hits my weak point. For now, I won't worry about that point. Anyway, it's good if I can help break down the hate between man and monster. Alright, let's go! To the Queen at the bottom of the seas! An underwater temple. I doubt there's anything good to eat. You can gr nab fish all along the way. <laughs> Always think of your next meal. I shake my head in amazement. We leave the town. <laughs>